Hi, so we promised we'd talk about uh, varnish and apologies for the time it's taken me to get this video to you, but here it is. So we've got here some um, matte varnish, it's by Galleria, uh, Windsor & Newton's Galleria. Um, you can get other ones, there are different ones for whatever you're painting. So um, this one is for, well, it's an acrylic art varnish. Um, so we've got this acrylic painting here um, this is a matte varnish you can get satin or gloss also um, depending on which one you prefer to have um, so I'm just going to pour some of this into a clean container like so um, and, and what I have done beforehand is, is I've just gone over this with a, a little cloth and give it a wipe down um, to make sure there's no little hairs or dust on it um, because you really don't want to have that mixed in with your varnish so I've got quite a small brush for this one because it's not a massive painting if it was a bigger painting I'd be using um, a, a nylon brush um, which I always find is best and a wider brush um, a wash brush perhaps something like that um, rosemaries are really good at doing those kind of brushes so what I'm going to do is I'm just pulling the varnish up and down the canvas like so this is canvas board by the way it's not proper canvas so um it's quite rigid so there's no bounce i want to make sure you've got a good amount on but also as well if you want to make sure is keep dipping down and catching the light and making sure you've got no runs on it so if there's any runs you want to sort of keep wiping those in so if you are if you are having um if it is a sunny day um use the light to your advantage to sort of just dip down a little bit and see if you can see any runs um across your canvas and get to them before they dry because you really don't want any drips in your uh, canvas there's, there's different school of thoughts on, on um, varnishing. I prefer to go up and down like this. Lots of people prefer to um, pour it in the middle and then swish it around. There's different ways of doing it. And I don't think there is really any right or wrong way. But what I prefer to do it like this is because I then, when it's dry, I'll repeat it going the opposite direction so that's the other thing that we're going to do is I'm, I'm dragging it down like so and I'm looking to see if I've got any runs along the edges and in the middle using the light night on a nice sunny day this is really um, easy to do using the light from the window to check um, and I'm just making sure I've got a all of it covered and B, no little drag lines or little things in the way that should be there. And you might have to run your brush a little bit around the edges as well to make sure it doesn't pull well there too. But generally this is framed anyway, so it's not a big deal if you do miss one. And if you do it nice and slowly, you don't get any bubbles, which sometimes happens if you go too fast, you'll get air bubbles in there, um, which generally don't stay, but you don't want them to take that chance anyway. And then give it a nice cover like this. Okay, so that's coat number one. And just have a quick look to make sure I've got the edges all clear and make sure it's not too thick or too thin in different areas. Um, you'll find that really you can't do that for very long because it starts to dry and what you don't want to do is touch it again once it's starting to dry because what will happen is you'll get drag lines in the varnish that you put on because it's sticky um, so don't do that if you if you find that you've missed a part leave it just leave it completely let it dry and go over the same way again and it won't it doesn't tend to thicken up on me and make one part thicker than the other um, but obviously you don't want to be pulling a texture in with that varnish by um, dragging it up as it's drying so leave it completely and leave it flat as well in, a, in as much as you can in a dust-free environment so that nothing's going to settle on there 
um, especially if you've got pets and things like that little hairs could settle on it so um, try and be you know out, as out of the way as you possibly can it doesn't take very long to dry it takes a couple of hours really to dry in fact I think it's starting to dry already over here um, but it's best to leave at least 12 hours in between coats so after about 12 hours you can go the other way and if you do want to do a third coat leave it 24 hours after the, the second coat this is because it makes it a little bit tackier um, and you can see actually as well with varnishing it, it does bring out, out those colours it makes it a lot brighter and um, really enhances what you've, you've painted um, and it protects it as well I and mean, I would recommend two at least two coats at least of, of varnish um, and if you're not going to put it under glass um, then maybe do three or if it's something very special do three but at least two so that's varnishing so I've done it this way I'm going to wait 12 hours and then we're going to do it this way or even 24 hours you can wait longer than 12 hours but 12 hours minimum really okay so I hope that helps and uh, let me know if you have any problems.